Bill Bruford reminds us on why he retired from drumming. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. In 2009, Bill Bruford made an announcement that he was retiring from touring as a drummer and performing as a drummer in the studio. We asked him why. Oh, um, well, I thought, I thought I'd quit while I was ahead. Uh, you know, I'd done 41 years. I, I reckon, you know, once, or once you've, you've done what you do for 41 years, you'll probably want to change and do something else. And I did too, and I, I moved to academia, and now I'm an academic writer. I, I write on all kinds of things to do. I'm a musicologist, actually, yeah. is the name for it. Um, however, I, the last few years were difficult. They were particularly difficult, and I had a sense I was tiring, not physically, but mentally, I think, that my ideas weren't so good. I didn't have so many ideas. And... I've been asked this before, so what the, the, the simplest sentence I can come up with to answer it is, I mean, it was a kind of burnout, but uh, the simplest way I can answer it is I couldn't hear what came next. I don't mean I couldn't remember what came next in the song. I mean, I couldn't hear in my ears what came next for drumming, for drums, what to do next on a drum kit. Bear, bear in mind, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd been around before odd meters in, in pop music. I'd been around before electronics and odd meters. I'd been around before sampling. I'd, you, you know, I, a lot of these ideas I'd been behind um, and promoting as a drummer. And, when, and I'd always heard those ideas in my ear first, in my ears first. You know, and then you say, oh, this is great. Let's, let's do that. Uh, but towards the end of my career, I no longer had quite the thirst for that, and I was no longer hearing what came next. Bill Bruford has just released a 20-CD, 4-DVD box set, the entirety of what was Earthworks, his one of his bands with Ian Bellamy on sax. Multi-instrumentalist Django Bates was in the band for quite a while, and they've all gone on since then to do their own thing. But putting all this stuff together, and he loves cataloging, he loves this kind of thing. I asked him, looking back at all this work, did, did you learn anything new about yourself? I learned something new about myself, John, every day. And I have used, used music through my whole life to try to find those new things. I've always used music as a kind of um, a mirror, if you like. I mean, you can stare at yourself in the mirror. You might not like what you see very much, but music is, uh, is a vehicle for change. And within music, within particularly, you know, the, the, the better bands, the freer bands I've been in, like King Crimson and Earthworks, um, it's possible to try things and say, oh, well, you know, that didn't work out. This is good. Now I've learned that. Now I can move on. I understand that aspect of my personality now. And um, so music's great for that. And so I've always learned something about myself through music, box sets or not. We're just starting a 13-part series on classic drummer Bill Bruford. He'll be back coming up next Saturday. Keep in mind, we talked to the other Yes drummer, his replacement, Alan White, last year. And there'll be links in the description of this video where you can check that series out as well. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rocky Stream Music.